What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. Across over 120 characters, League of Legends has shown quite an interesting and diverse array of design amongst the champions. And what makes a champion well designed tends to be a little subjective, but I look at it from a gameplay standpoint. A well designed champion should be fun and exciting to play as, and has lots of both outplay potential as well as counterplay for the opponents, and is fairly balanced inherently by not having any frustrating mechanics to play against, and really just feels fair to play against for the opponents. These are champions that when you lose to them, you really just feel like you got outplayed, not that the champion is broken or annoying, and so overall are very healthy champions to exist within the game. Keep in mind that this list was super hard to make, and I do think I did a good job, but bear with me if you disagree. Anyways, let's get started. At number 5, we have Lee Sin. Now, I do rank him a little bit low because his kit is fairly overloaded, but Lee Sin has most certainly proved to be one of the most fun champions in the entire game, based on him having a consistently high play rate no matter how good he is in the meta. His kit is fun and exciting while also super difficult to play as due to the high mechanical difficulty within his kit. When you face off against a Lee Sin, there's loads of ways to outplay him through dodging his skill shot, putting yourself in a position to not get wrecked by his ultimate, and really just kiting him or bursting him since he never really gets that tanky actually. But he also has loads of ways to outplay you through insect maneuvers and his high amount of mobility, which actually isn't too strong based on the fact that you can see where he is going to jump to before he actually moves, giving you an opportunity for counterplay. And although it is true that he is super strong in the early game, he pays for it by being a lot weaker in the late game as well as being extremely difficult to have an impact on in teamfights, which is a fairly meaningful trade-off. At number 4, it's Vayne. Now, some of you might disagree with me on this one, so hear me out. Vayne as a champion is one that is extremely reliant on skill. She's a high risk, but only medium reward champion with very complex mechanics, which makes her fun and exciting to play as, which can be seen by her play rate, and at the time of making this video, Vayne is actually the most popular champion to play in the entire game. Her mechanics are quite difficult and her outplay potential is extremely high, but if you can get something off on her, she pretty much just gets wrecked and shut down super quickly, since she's so squishy and isn't super high range at all. She has a lot of potential, but the risk is super high since it's a lot easier to counterplay and punish a Vayne than it is for the Vayne to outplay you. Her stealth is actually super fair as well in the sense that you can see Vayne before she stealths around you, so you can prep for it with a pink ward or a sweeper if needed, giving her some outplay potential that still has meaningful counterplay. And the trade-off of having an abysmal laning phase is very meaningful since she scales up quite strongly into the late game. As well, the interactions with her Condemn can be avoided by not really walking next to walls, but she can also outplay people by changing the angle she is at and overextending a bit to get a better shot on someone to hit them into a wall. Next up at number 3, it's Nami. She's a support who has a kit that feels really good, kind of like it all flows together and it all fits her theme really well. Nami's bubble is also a very fair skill shot that is fairly easy to dodge, but also very rewarding when it lands. You can land a crazy bubble to make a play and feel really good about yourself as the Nami player, and on the other hand she has fairly punishing weaknesses in being super squishy and having very high mana costs, which aren't too forgiving at all if you make a mistake on her. In addition, her damage isn't great and her healing is just okay, it's not really obnoxious, and so her laning phase is very scary skill based. You can outplay her, or she can outplay you, and in that sense she's really balanced, especially since her skill shots are quite easy to dodge as a whole. She's a champion that doesn't really counter anyone, and she doesn't really get countered by anyone too. Almost every matchup is entirely skill based, and she always has a chance to outplay her opponents, just as there's always a chance for her opponents to take advantage of her weaknesses. 
And at number two, it's Bard. He's a champion that is super goofy and really silly, and that makes him a pretty big laugh to play as. And his kit is extremely hard to play too, in both the decision making with his magical journey and the ability to land his ultimate. But he still has the tools to make some crazy plays happen. His ultimate is fairly easy to dodge and can really end in a disaster sometimes for the Bard player, and so it's super punishing if you mess it up, but can be super rewarding and really powerful if you land a good one. And the stun is also somewhat difficult to land in that you have to find creative angles, and your opponents have to kind of set up opportunities to get stunned. You can outplay his stun by avoiding the angles entirely, and so it creates a fairly balanced interaction around his kit. And in addition, similar to Nami, his sustain isn't obnoxious at all, due to the super long cooldown it has, so it never really gets annoying. And he has quite a few weaknesses too, mainly in being really squishy and becoming super weak in a fight where he can't land his stun reliably. All of his skills can be outplayed or avoided, and the interactions that his entire kit creates with his opponents are super cool and result in some very skill intensive gameplay on both sides. If you're enjoying the list, just a reminder to tap that like button if you want to see other lists similar to this one. And bringing home the number one spot, it's Orianna. She always had a super cool kit of controlling and interacting with her ball, and the fact that you can see the ball and its movements tends to make it reasonable for anyone facing her. She has quite a lot of utility which lets her kite and outplay her opponents, but her ranges are nothing special, and the time it takes for her ball to move around is fairly slow, so the interaction of avoiding the ball and where it is placed creates an extremely dynamic, high skill matchup for Orianna and anyone facing her. Her ultimate is also quite easy to outplay with flash or any form of mobility to really shut down her kit almost completely. As well, her being quite squishy makes it so that her survivability is almost entirely based on her utility and positioning, which requires a lot of skill to make use of properly and can be counterplayed by dodging the skill shots or through strategic outplays such as a flank. She has the ability to both win and lose pretty much all matchups, all based on the skill of the players and overall has a super healthy playstyle and takes my number one spot as the best designed champion of all time. And that just about wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, just a reminder to tap that like button, as well as you can subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. And definitely check out some of my other videos on the screen too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.